as good as it gets in National League speed race. with the uh, Speedway tonight at the Isle of Wight. It's a Tuesday night, a bit unusual for the island, but it's the second round of the Vincent Motorcycles and Antiques Handicap Challenge. First time round, terrific meeting, a fantastic finale to uh, the racing with Ben Morley and Alfie Botel going side by side. And tonight doesn't promise to be anything other than just as good because uh, those guys are back in town to do battle. They'll lock horns with the likes of Taylor Hampshire. They'll also have Scott Campos, their uh, Warriors teammate with them. And Alex Perks has been drafted into the meeting from uh, Plymouth and uh, he's going to be the real tough nut to crack when it comes to final time. It's been a bit of a rainy old day this afternoon here on the island but uh, we'll certainly look forward to another great Speedway meeting. We've got uh, SDL racing, six heats with the Weymouth Wildcats coming up as well. So a real bumper bundle of activity here on the island for our regulars and our holiday making friends to enjoy. Hope you enjoy it too. Alex Perks back on the island again. Great to see you back in the UK. I think it's where you need to be and back racing over here as well. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's really good to be back. You know, like you said, it's where I need to be and uh, I'm happy to be back. I've been enjoying it and uh, I've been enjoying riding, which is what it's about. I think you've been really unlucky because last season, your stint for Rye House, you did really well. And then you're out the team of no fault of your own. And then obviously having to stay in Australia, I mean, that's got to be a shocker, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Like you say, I had uh, I was unlucky at Rye House to be dropped when they made team changes about three quarters of the way through the season. Um, I had a good season with red cars. Well, I thought I would be back there, to be honest. But then over the winter, I didn't have a, a single phone call. So um, just stayed there. Like I said, I had to get a job and I was working. And then uh, finally the opportunity came up to come over to, to ride for Peterborough and I jumped at the opportunity. Far too good a rider to be, to be on the sidelines for sure. So it's great to see you back. However, on the island tonight, handicap racing. Done one of these before? No, it should, uh, should be interesting. Um, hopefully not carnage, because I don't really want to get into any grief. I want to stay out of trouble. I've got a bit of a shoulder injury at the minute that I'm nursing. So, um, And with the World Under-21s coming up next weekend, I'm just trying to enjoy my ride and stay safe and make the money. Good stuff. Well, that's the key, is to stay safe. Enjoy yourself out there. Have you had a look at the track already, or are you just getting your bike sorted? Yeah, I just, just rocked up getting my bike sorted. Um, I had a little look as I, I drove in here. It looks quite nice. Uh, the surface on it looks a different colour from when I was here a couple of years ago. Um, so hopefully it's nice and smooth and produces good racing tonight. They've done a lot of work on it and they have evened out those bumps. We just enjoy our speed on the island here. But great to see you back. We mean that. Cheers. Thank you. We're joined by Ben Morley then before the evening's handicap meeting here on the island. Ben, great to see you back. A couple of weeks away from the island. So uh, you've been busy in your championship commitments. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, it feels like it's eight ages since I've been here, so you know, it's nice to come back and, yeah, do the second part of this meeting. And I know that you've already been over on the island today a little bit earlier because we saw your van over in Ryde. I think you all got together and had a meal before you come to the stadium. So it is it's a great atmosphere over here, isn't it? It's, it's a bit of an event when you come to the island. Yeah, for sure. It's almost like a mini holiday as such. So, sort of, you know, with the boat journey and, you know, when the weather's been like how it is, it's, you know, it's an awesome place. So, yeah, it's been a cracking day so far. Right, well, your holiday stops now. It's time to get to work. <laughs> yeah, that's Handicap true. competition tonight. You won round one last time from your 30-metre handicap. What are you bringing in from that meeting? Uh, you know, just the same as I did last time. Sort of just have fun, really, and um, see how we go. I mean, you know, it's, I think the first time I did it last time, it was, it was good fun, so... Yeah, same setup today and see how we go. Did you get caught out on anything last time? I know that when we spoke you hadn't done a handicap meet before, so it was all kind of new. Uh, anything you, you learnt from that or you think, oh, OK, they got out a little bit quicker than I was expecting? or? Uh, I don't know, really. It was sort of a bit different starting 30 metres back. And, um, yeah, I think you sort of use your head a bit more trying to, trying to like line, line people up and stuff, you know, because... If you, if you make a start, then you sort of get fresh air, but every race you sort of have two, three people in front of you, so it's, you know, it makes you, gets you thinking. OK, uh, just one more question before we let you leave. Obviously, it's uh, been in the news very recently about um, the future plans of Lakeside, who you ride for in the Championship League. Um, it's got to be very difficult for a rider in a team when you hear news like that. A little bit unsettling, maybe. How, how has it had any effect with you, you guys? Uh, it's... 
you know, it's not it's not the greatest news, but um, I think as a team we're doing really well. So we sort of got to put that at the back of your mind and sort of carry on and finish the year strong, and then you know, hopefully something comes good out at the end of the year. So you literally you block it out. You just think, you know what? It's my job this year. Crack on with this year, get this year done, and then worry about it afterwards. Yeah, that's it. I mean, if you if you start thinking things in thinking into things too much now, then sort of it could mess you up sort of home meetings and stuff and you know you just need to sort of not really worry about it until it time comes. Now you've had a few bashes and bangs uh, earlier on in the season I know with your thumb and bits and pieces of your arm uh, how are you feeling now all up together? Yeah I feel pretty good I've, I've had a fair few home meetings and I uh, feel good and yeah everything's still intact. Good. All right. Well, we'll let you go. Thanks for, for speaking to us tonight and uh, have a good meeting. Stay safe. Ride fast. Nice one. Thank you. Before the meeting then, we are joined by Barry Bishop. Barry, great to see you again, as usual. Looking a little bit wet. We can't ignore the fact that the rain is coming in a little bit at the moment, but yeah. uh, we're all still hopeful it's going to go ahead. Yeah, everyone's looking at the various weather forecasts and all the, the apps that we've all got. You know, we live and die by them. And... Um, some are saying nothing's going to happen. Some are saying it's going to be down low. So I just think it's luck of the draw. No one really knows. Uh, everybody's here now, so we just have to wait and see, don't we? Well, looking up and down the pits, everyone's pumped for this. They're all really excited. They're all happy. They, yeah. they, you know, even though the rain can't dampen their spirits. Yeah, no, I think the rain can't dampen anyone's spirits. Uh, uh, we're on good form at the minute, and this is an exciting format. And I just hope that the weather does play ball with us and we can uh, get on with it. A couple of changes to the original lineup tonight. Yeah. Um, has that been a problem in bringing in other riders? We see Alex Perks come in at last yeah. minute. Yeah, it's always last minute, unfortunately. And uh, you know, Ryan Terry Daly was hurt at riding for Plymouth. Um, Adam Extens has hurt his knee again, uh, and he called in la late last night. So Martin and I was and, and Jackie Vatcher were trying our hardest to get another rider at such short notice. And thanks very much to Alice for stepping in uh, with that one. And um, so. Uh, yeah, it's been a challenge to get, <coughs> excuse me, challenge to get the 12 riders. But it, the one thing that it has enabled is uh, for Jamie Seeley, of course, uh, uh, Tom Brennan not being able to come, uh, probably because of his step grandfather's, uh, uh, you know, Bob Dugard's unfortunate death. Uh, 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 Jamie stepped up, and here we ride in today. And Scott's back. And Scott's back, yes, of course, yeah. So Scott's in. Now let's revisit the first staging of the uh, Vincent Motorcycles and Antiques. That was a great meter, wasn't it? As you said in your promo, 40 yeah. passes that night, it, it delivered yeah. what it said on the tin. It did exactly what it says on the tin, and that's why we like it so much. And the feedback has been uh, tremendous about that. Um, and tonight should be no different. It's uh, The track's going to be uh, great if uh, uh, the weather just eases a little bit. Um, it looked really good uh, when Martin was doing it today in Tire Packet and the, and the team. And now we're just ready to get the show on the road. I just need a little bit uh, of uh, sunshine to break back through. And then it's uh, back to handicap racing. And handicap racing guaranteed passing every race uh, with the likes of Ben, Alfie, Ellis Perks, uh, Scott on flying at the minute. It's going to be super. And got to say, the, the sponsorship of the meeting, of course, Vincent's yeah. Motorcycles and Antiques. We visited them last week before coming to the island. Uh, great to have his back in, he's a big yeah. supporter over here. Yeah, uh, we, you know, Vincent's a great supporter of what we do here. He's a motorcycle enthusiast, for, uh, you know, cut him through and it's a, a front wheel of a motorcycle. Um, uh, but unfortunately, his wife's not very well at the moment and she's been poorly for some time. And we wish uh, him and Tammy all the very best and uh, good health for the future. Um, uh, but I'm sure he's here in spirit. He did contact me today and wish me all the best for it and apologised uh, for not making it today. Um, which is a big shame, uh, but we know that he will, he will love the product that we're going to show tonight. Definitely, and I will let you know that he has got an old Chris Harris Speedway bike at the venue that he's got there, and uh, he's intending to hopefully get that on track here on one of the My First Kids yeah. as well. Yeah, I've seen that bike, yeah, I know, yeah, I know about that bike. <laughs> anyway, we're going to let you go, it's going to be a busy night. Let's hope that rain calms down and we have a great night at Speedway as we always have here on the island. Thanks very much. It's already sounding busy in the pit, so we're pretty rammed already. So let's have a great one. Thank you. Taylor Hampshire, welcome back to the Isle of Wight. You've just come in from a track walk. Uh, what do you think of the track tonight? Although we've got a little bit of rain at the moment. Concerned? Um, don't know. I reckon, uh, I reckon it'll be all right because um, every time I've been here when it's rained, it's held up quite nice. So um, hopefully it just stops raining and we can uh, get on with the meeting. 
Now, you roast in the first round of the uh, Vincent's Motorcycles and Antiques Handicap. Uh, it went pretty well for you, didn't it? Yeah, it went too bad. Um, I went into the final, uh, dropped one point. So uh, if I can do it again tonight, I will uh, be happy with that. Did you take away anything from that? Did you learn anything from that handicap night? You, you know, I don't think you've been in one of those before. So when you first went to the line and you had to sort of ne negotiate the guys in front of you and then worry about the one behind you, um, was there something on the night you thought, oh, okay, I've got to think of this? Um, I don't know. I think the people that are further back have got a bit of an advantage because they've got, like, um, a longer run into the first corner. So... Um, I don't know. I, was, I suppose when you're off 15 meters and um, you got you, you got you, you want to try and get past them as quick as you can, but then you don't really want the other ones behind you to come past. So uh, yeah, you got to try and work it out, really. Now you are having a great season this season. I think it's fair to say that your uh, your career really is taking off, uh, especially in the national league this year. Um, I think you started off the season with a three point average. Am I right in saying that? And then you've You've right upped it, and it's it's flying high now. Uh, yeah, I think I started on like a, I don't know if it was a high three or a low four, but um, I think my average is now on five point seven something. So uh, yeah, it's going up. But if I can keep getting it going up, I'll be happy with that. You can see that in your riding, though, the way you're attacking the tracks. The, the little that we've seen of you, you're a d different rider, different rider altogether. Yeah, um, at the start of the season, you know, I was. Uh, I don't really know how to word it. I was, I wouldn't say scared, but I think my confidence was quite low. But then, since I was, when I come back and start getting the points, you know, it, it helped. And then um, just carried on going from there, really. But got the points now, so uh, hopefully I can keep going to the end of the season and keep doing good. The speedway is not a uh, cheap sport to be involved with. It's very expensive, so you must have some good um, sponsors behind you and people that are helping you on your way in your career, yeah. Yeah, um, you know, everyone at Kent, you know, is just, they're all amazing there. You know, Len's done so much for me this this year. And um, obviously, Wolf Sport, they've helped me out with some stuff this year. Rock Oil, they've helped me out as well with, like, just all everything, really. So I've got a lot of good sponsors behind me. So, uh, yeah, thanks to all them. OK, well, let's hope you uh, continue with your progress for the remainder of the season. Um, and you stay safe and you ride fast as usual. And uh, we'll see you on the island on the next one, but enjoy tonight. All right, thank you. Tonight is the second round of the Vincent's Handicap meeting. First of all, we're going to introduce the rider at number one in the programme this evening. He's just come to Plymouth as the number one in their sign-up. He's a great rider and he rides this track particularly well. Ladies and gentlemen, Alice Parks. And number two, to keep the cheers going for the returning man, it's Jamie Sully. Number three, a man who is a regular here on the Isle of Wight and always supports the club magnificently from Buxton Hitman is Tom Woolley. And last week we had a five point score with some bonus points as well. It's great racing from the new man, Jamie Bursal. Right at number five on the programme. He's been missing for a few weeks, uh, but it's great to have him back. Warriors number one, and what a he is for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Morley. <laughs> Next to Ben is a man who's been here on several occasions recently, guesting for us, and he's done brilliantly. I'm sure you want to give an equally big welcome to Taylor Hampshire. <laughs> Riding at number seven, the young man at the Kent Kings, who's really hitting his straps at the moment, scoring great points. Good to have him on the island, Alex Spooner. And back for a second week, he was uh, representing his, uh, or, or guest rider last week, for the Stoke Potters. He's here in his own right. He represents Coventry normally in the National League. It's Luke Ruddick. When I said Ben Morley was the island number one, I think we've got two number ones in this team because I'm sure he's become one of your fans' favourites as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Alf Bootow! Right at number ten, a stepping in for the uh, absent Tom Brennan. It's great to have him, he's our skipper last week and he got big points. Scott Campos! Number 11, another one of your island favourites. He's four laps of try, try, try. You can't do that for anybody. Dan O'Vanish! And last but by 
know the estates to number 12, his biggest score of the season last week, a really happy chappy indeed. Welcome please, Sean Tedham. That's a try for a guy to do with battle in the handicap. Potential, I'm sure you'll agree, and it's always a pleasure to see him racing on the island. Back on the island, do you remember how to get around here? Yeah, 
Yeah, I did all right. Um, took a bit of a slow start, but got into it. What do you think of the handicap style meeting? It's different, of course, than uh, normal league racing. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's hard work, though. You sort of uh, <laughs> got to use your head a lot more, but yeah, it's good fun. And it's a good training, you know, good practice uh, when you get on the track. You've got to pass people, I suppose it's an opportunity to line them up and, you know, put them into practice what you're learning out here tonight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, you've got to use your head a bit more and then it gives you practice when you need it. And uh, what's your diary like for the next week or so, Ben? Busy? Uh, I was meant to have tomorrow, but I'm not, not allowed to do it due to the eight day rule. And, and it's Friday from now on. So you'll be out in the sunshine wrapping up and uh, doing next to nothing. Oh, back to work now. Back to work, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he did the work on the track tonight, didn't he? He's our third place finisher. Well, it's quite right. Ben Dorley, Ben's on the show. Just been forced to Alice. Come on forward and have a quick word. Did you know, give him a big round of applause, actually. Short notice, really, Alice, to get into the meeting. But uh, he came and did it for us, and we're very thankful for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like I say, he's late for up. Um, I was at Kent yesterday, and uh, about an hour on my way home. I actually texted me and said, oh, I just want to do this meeting. I had a wine. I said, sure, why not? You know, um, so I've got a busy week anyway, riding right? tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and then Monday as well. But, um, it's all about being on the bike and enjoying it and getting laps in. You've been here before, not this season, but previously. Uh, race is one of your favourite tracks or a good one? Yeah, I, uh, I rated it you know, up there in the top three. They're my favourite. Um, it's not the, the easiest of race tracks, but some of the guys that haven't raced on the bigger, rougher tracks. But growing up in Australia, um, we used to ride on things like this, so I enjoy it. And uh, Other than the dust and all, I think everybody enjoyed it and I hope the fans did as well. Yeah, I'm certain the fans enjoyed it as well. There's one other question for you, uh, Ellis. You're getting onto the verge of the international scene with the GB youth and uh, Neil Vatcher and all of his associates there are doing great things for the youth set up. You had a, a meeting recently with the uh, other guys with Adam Ellis and Dan Beauty. Tell us how that one went. Yeah, I think Glasgow a couple of weeks back we did the um, World Team Under 21, uh, whereas was us versus Australia, Germany and Czech Republic. and. Uh, we came out victorious, unfortunately Zach got injured during that, but um, I believe he's back and racing well again and we're all uh, off to Denmark next week for uh, the final, which will be interesting against uh, Poland, Sweden and Denmark on a track that none of us have been, so uh, it'll be good, it'll be good fun and uh, just good experience. Well ladies and gentlemen, he's done himself proud tonight, hasn't he? Come here and show it ladies and gentlemen. You look a bit hot, mate, because it's like hard going out there. Yeah, I'm a bit hot. I'm a bit dehydrated, to be honest. I've got a light, I'm not too light headed. But no, we're not going to get away. A couple of weeks since you've been on the island, and uh, you know, we've all missed you here, seeing you race every week. We've had some great guests in to cover for you. Um, have you missed being on the island? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's not always enjoyable going in the championship, going all up, travelling all up north, and scoring like one, maybe nine, or a couple of points. So I'd rather come here and talk help the team and score a few myself, but no, I have missed it. And tonight in the final here, certainly, your start off gate four was uh, lightning, really, and a great race with Ellis to keep each of you sweet through the race. And it must be good to be out on the track like that and have a ding-dong with a rider who you know is going to give you some track room and uh, race you there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I prefer racing with like, like Ben and um, Ellis, because uh, with uh, the other ones, on, I think I had a close one with... Um, Sort of the others, and I nearly, I nearly went through the boards a couple of times in one race, so I can't prefer racing with um, these boys. Well, you won the first of these sewer meetings, and now you're taking the second one as well, so this is one you must like. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, Alfie Baker. next Sunday for SCL racing so it's a real a real real gambit for a referee Christine enjoy the meeting tonight mm -hmm. it's been an absolutely <laughs> fantastic meeting uh, credit to all the lads they gave it a hundred percent they've given you a really good night's racing hard racing fair racing so yeah I've thoroughly enjoyed it it's probably one of the best speed meetings I've seen this season so well done to all of you and uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it and I hope you all come back <laughs> Thank you.